now we have this wonderful opportunity uh, for Medicaid expansion. For years, I've been grieving and moaning and groaning every day about the problem I just described to you. How can we possibly do our job when our patients don't have the coverage they need to get more than we can provide? Imagine you were a firefighter, and, and you get called out to fires, and half the time you get to the fire, the fire hydrant has no water. In some ways, that's what it's like for our physician assistants and nurse practitioners. We're there, we're doing the job, but when we need a crucial tool to, to provide the care, it just ain't there. And we can't walk away. We still have that faith. That's still our patient. We still need to take care of that person. So now we have this opportunity with Medicaid expansion to cover something like 120,000 people in our state. And I look upon this as health care coverage for working people because many of these people are working at all kinds of jobs, minimum wage jobs, um, sometimes seasonal employment, and they, they need health insurance. What I see, and, and to break that down a little bit, that in, in uh, Kanawha County, right here, that would be 10,000 people who would become eligible for health care coverage if the governor decides to take advantage of this fabulous deal. In my home county, Fayette County, it would be 3,000 people. I feel confident that Governor Tomlin is going to do the right thing here because the needs of our patients, my patients and of, and of the people who I, I told you the numbers, the needs of the people are just tremendous, it's obvious. And then the fact that this is a tremendous economic stimulus program for our state benefits our hospitals, benefits people employed in our hospitals provides additional tax revenue through their jobs, and at the same time does the right thing for our patients, makes me very, very optimistic that the governor is going to do this, and that very soon the problem we're going to be facing is how to move on and get, get people signed up. And it won't, won't be long probably until Perry's having a press conference about that, and in fact, the West Virginians for Affordable Health Care is holding a, a conference, a workshop on May 14th, at Flatwoods about exactly that challenge. Now that the governor has decided to do this, now that West Virginia is fully participating in the expanded Medicaid program, how are we going to actually get the services to the people and get people signed up? So thank you very much.